Gloucestershire City Expats Club is a non-profit social organisation and our speakers are volunteers. The club as such assumes no responsibility or liability for the professional reputation of or the quality of services provided by the speaker today. Ways of uh, having uh, uh, multiple streams of income. And uh, he's a small little chap, so you have to look hard to see him. <laughs> so welcome, Rob Weiser. Selling digital products 
which is we're gaining advice from men. And I thought there's gotta be something to this. So I began to create more and more of these products on various topics. I wound up um, attending masterminds around the world with uh, other internet marketers and learning this trade. There I am on the, on the left there. That was about 11 years ago. And there I am. And today, the guys in that room have generated over $500 million worth of these digital products. This friend of mine has a product called the Venus Factor, which is a fitness product for women doing millions per year. This guy is doing 20 million a year selling dating advice products. This guy, Dan, um, has one of the biggest channels on YouTube called Six Pack Shortcuts. Has millions of YouTube subscribers generating fortune, again, all digital products. And over here, um, the king of the female dating advice market, also doing millions. So today, I saw all my products from clickbank.com, which is the number one marketplace for digital products. And I am one of their platinum members, which means I'm in their top 1%. So on clickbank.com, there are hundreds of thousands of these products on any topic you could possibly imagine, and they do billions of dollars in sales. And I'll discuss clickbank more in a moment. So I want to ask you guys to, to relate this to you. How many of you have an interest, a hobby, or a passion that you love talking about with other people? We've all got something, okay? But have you ever considered the fact that your knowledge and life experience, or your talent, or your passion can actually be turned into a very profitable digital product? So today, I'm going to show you how, how to take one of your ideas or skills or talents, or even just a hobby or an interest, and turn it into a digital product that can earn you unlimited amounts of passive income. And I'll show you examples of regular, everyday adults, not 21-year-old uh, tech nerds. I'm talking about adults, people our age, who are doing this and getting into it now, and discovered um, how to turn their hobbies into six and even seven figure passive income businesses. So you may be aware of active income versus passive income. Active income means you're trading your time for dollars, a fixed amount of income. You lose your job, you lose your income. Passive income, you set it up once, you put it online, let it run on autopilot and make money literally while you sleep 24 hours a day. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> these water here. One second. There are two ways to go here, basically. You can take one of your active income streams and use it to base a digital product around. Um, I, know, I know therapists, I know chiropractors, I know personal trainers, I know a real estate agent who have used their knowledge to create one of these products and generate passive income for themselves around the clock while pursuing their you know, main active income source. Or, do what I did, choose a topic that is not related to anything you currently make money from, but use this process to turn it into a digital product and a passive income stream. Now this, really, in my opinion, is the most profitable business model I've ever seen because it involves virtually no risk virtually no startup costs, and the upside is totally unlimited. <clears throat> so, digital products are essentially just um, courses you sell online. Um, normally it consists of an ebook, which we're all familiar with, the same kind of ebook you would buy on Amazon for your Kindle, and then you might add some supplemental materials, like some videos, some audio recordings. You package it as a course, and the idea of this product is to help people learn something, get better at something, or to solve a problem. With digital products, they're amazing because there is no inventory, no running out of stock, no need for a store, warehouse, employees. You keep almost 100% of every sale with a regular book in stores. You're making pennies per sale. 
Also, you can build an email list of subscribers and fans and sell them additional products, which is known as affiliate marketing. The internet never sleeps or goes on holiday, and the ROI, return on investment, is higher than any other business I know of. And it's passive income. You set it up once, make sales, and profit forever. So examples of digital products that are out there right now that are making thousands or even millions of dollars per month for their creators, um, how to play basic guitar or piano in 30 days, how to use the law of attraction to manifest wealth and success, that's a big one, how to be more productive, how to fix your love life or meet your soulmate, how to survive the fidelity divorce, get out of debt, how to party train your child, very profitable, how to find great real estate deals or travel deals, yoga, get fit after 40, how to fix anxiety, insomnia, back pain, snoring, any ailment you could possibly think of. There is a digital product that addresses this. So, some real examples of digital products that are making shocking amounts of money on ClickBank. And if you go to clickbank.com, you can see for yourself the marketplace. Who wants to make a guess here? Out of all of the hundreds of thousands of products on ClickBank, what would you guess is the topic of the number one product? Who, who wants to guess? Excellent guess. Anyone else? Health related. How do what? Health related. Okay, health related, yes. Very patient. Dating. Dating. Actually, it's a friend of mine, his wife. There's the marketplace. There's the marketplace. Number one offer is about numerology, which is like, um, you know, who knows what it is, numerology. It sounds rather obscure, but it's uh, using numbers in your life, your birth date and so forth, to predict your future. So this is a husband and wife team who are in their late 50s. And they are multimillionaires from this one digital product. They're from New Zealand. And they're a very fun-loving couple. So again, I'm trying to emphasize here, these are not being created by the, the, you know, the Mark Zuckerbergs of the world, the 21-year-old nerds. These are older people who are discovering this now and doing very well. Another huge one on ClickBank Battery reconditioning. I guess this appeals towards um, the survival crowd, the preppers, getting ready for the uh, collapse. How to recondition batteries for extra power. It's a huge seller, making millions. Another one, I have some of these ones. Female dating advice. His secret obsession. How to make a man obsessed with you forever. Ashley, a friend of mine, was a young, married guy, um, seized upon this idea and is raking it in. Ted's woodworking. This is a huge one. And basically you're just getting an ebook that you can read on your laptop or on your phone, and it has blueprints and uh, schematics for home woodworking projects. Here's a weight loss one. So, these are only a bit on there. Red tea detox. They're not actually shipping you any tea. You're getting an ebook that explains how to go to the grocery store and get the ingredients to make the detox tea. And that's it. Superior singing method. Another big one. So I'm trying to show you how, how broad this marketplace is and how even these small, unusual, little niche ideas can be extremely profitable. So I want to share with you, in my limited time here, three secrets about creating your first highly profitable digital product and offering it to customers around the world and making passive income on autopilot. Secret number one, you probably already got a great idea for a profitable product that you could start on. So what is something you had to figure out how to do and you got good at it? And now, bear in mind, you don't need to be a world-class expert or a top authority or a PhD. You simply need to have life experience about this. It's something you became good at through your own personal experience and effort. That's the basis of a product. 
Or, what is something you want to learn about or get better at? Um, a friend of mine, for example, decided to change up his daily routine to become more focused and more productive. He kept a journal of how he changed his habits and created a digital course, basically how to become more productive within 30 days. This could be your training your dog, improving your golf swing, lose weight without punishing yourself, etc. Actually, dog training is a monster niche. A good friend of mine was a lawyer in California working about 90 hours a week, killing himself. He bought a little Shih Tzu puppy, and apparently Shih Tzus are rather hard to train. Well, he figured out how to train his dog, made up his own little system, and put it on his bank, and within, within a short amount of time, he was making so much money from his product that he quit his job at the law firm. And now he's a full-time internet marketer like me. Now, my way is um, to build a better mousetrap. And this, to me, is the most clever method. And this involves going on ClickBank, researching the marketplace, finding products that are on the topic you want to make yours about, possibly, and then studying them, studying their sales page. Pull out your credit card and buy it, probably 37 bucks. Study the product, study the back end, see what happens once, you, once they have your email address, and see the emails you receive from that product creator. So study their entire funnel, their, their sales process, and then improve upon it with your own product. That's a way to guarantee your success, basically, is to model the success of others. And the big reason why you'll be able to charge, you know, $37 or $47 or even $97 for one of these digital products is that you are not just selling a simple Kindle ebook. The way I teach this, you package your idea, you package your product as a course, a program, a system, or a kit. For example, here's a Kindle book on Amazon. It's a top seller. Manifesting Miracles and Money. It sells for a whopping $2.99. Go over to ClickBank, and you'll find this, Manifestation Breakthrough. It's a digital product. It's a simple ebook plus maybe a video or two. Probably filmed in the guy's backyard on his phone. He sells this for $37. Someone else modeled that idea and created Manifestation Miracle. And now you've got a course that is more extensive. It contains more videos, maybe a few eBooks. Again, this is all digital. You download this product straight to your phone or your computer and you do it on your screen. And this sells for $47 or $67. And again, you're shipping out nothing, you're printing nothing, your overhead costs are basically nil. Another example, here's a top-selling Kindle book on yoga. This one commands a whopping $3.99. Over on ClickBank, you've got Yoga Burn, digital product, $47. There is no ebook. All this is is a series of videos where a friend of mine um, probably hired a yoga instructor for a few bucks, rented a studio for an afternoon, filmed her demonstrating some yoga exercises and movements. Boom, product. And also, one of the, one of the great things about this is that on Amazon, Amazon keeps the customer information, but with a ClickBank product, you capture the email addresses of all of your customers, and you build an email list. And now, you can follow up and market other products to these customers in the future. So um, a person who spends $37 on one of my digital products over time might wind up spending $500 or even $1,000 with me because if a woman buys my relationship product, I'm now going to market other products to her. Uh, a yoga product, weight loss product, skincare product, beauty product, numerology, astrology, whatever. Whatever women are buying, I will market those products to them. And I have this very powerful and very large email list. Secret number two, you don't need to worry about being a, a top expert or authority on your topic. Um, I know of a guy who created a course on living in Thailand. You know, 
when I speak about this in Thailand, oftentimes one of the most popular ideas is, you know, a, a, a course or a product for expats. How to move out here, the cost of living, how to understand the culture, how to find love, and so on. And this guy uh, had only lived here a short amount of time, but he leveraged the power of expert, experts. He went on the forums, he asked questions, he spoke to some of the old timers, and interviewed them, and used their expertise and their knowledge to bundle his product together. Um, a relationship course. So, well, years ago, I started creating products for women. Now, I'm a single man. How would I know how to create products for women that want to find Mr. Right? Most of my customers who are female are actually quite a bit older than I am. So how can I relate to them? What gives me the authority to create a product on this topic? Well, I simply reached out to some relationship counselors. Um, many of them are on Amazon with their own books. There are people with their own YouTube channels that are real authorities on any topic you can imagine. You contact them, you say, could I please interview you over Skype or over the phone for half an hour to include you in my course? And I will have a link on my website to promote your book or your YouTube channel. And the experts will line up to give you their, their knowledge for free to use in your product. The old golf pro, another example. A friend of mine made a product about how to improve your golf swing. He's a pretty shitty golfer, but at his club, there's an old golf pro. You sit him down, put the camera on him, he'll talk for hours about golf and about technique, and that was all he needed to create a top-selling product about golf. And the third secret, I don't care what age you are, I don't care what you've done in the past career-wise, now is the ultimate time to get started with this. When I started 10 years ago, um, I had to hire a web designer to build my first website. It was about 50 bucks an hour, and if I wanted to change a picture or add a paragraph, I had to pay this guy by the hour because websites were very difficult to build. It was a very difficult computer code, but now with um, publishing platforms like WordPress, any of us can build a website in an afternoon. And on top of that, people are more comfortable now buying these products online. Uh, 10 years ago, the idea of visiting some random website about how to improve your golf swing, and you see this weird, you know, ClickBank logo, people were reluctant to hand over their credit card information. But now, with Amazon and the rise of online shopping, it's no big deal. There is no more stigma. And additionally, now you have incredible resources at your disposal as far as online help. There are sites that I can tell you about if you want to know. I've got a whole list where you can find thousands of freelance workers in countries, particularly India and the Philippines, where there's this massive pool of talent of young, educated people who would love the opportunity to make a few hundred dollars to help you build your website, to make your graphics for you, or to write your books for you, whatever you need. So the pool of talent out there as far as outsourced workers is unbelievable. Didn't exist when I first started in this business. So, as I said, you can leverage the power of experts to either get your product created basically or to supplement your product. You can outsource the writing part. I used to write my, my own ebooks. Now I simply create an idea. I go over to Amazon.com. I look up one of the top titles on that topic. And Amazon will provide you with the table of contents for any book. You click on the picture of the book on Amazon in the listing, and you can view the table of contents. So I'll take that, I'll email it off to a writer, maybe in the Philippines or India or the US. There's tons of writers in. Uh oh. My problem? New mic. Sorry. I need some water anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, the talk must be over. Almost. Are we on? Testing. Cool. Thanks. I played this one out. What's that? Okay. I was going to add, um, it's sort of sad to say, being that I am a former author, and I also, I also did a lot of journalism for newspapers and magazines, but 
with the rise of all these websites and blogs, it's hard to make a living as a writer in the US now. So when I want to get a book written, I go to websites where there are thousands of incredibly talented writers um, with, the, with college degrees who have oftentimes published books and they want the jobs, they want the writing jobs. So if you have an idea for a product and you want to get started on it, don't worry about chaining yourself to your computer and writing some 200 page book. You don't need to. You hire a pro writer, pay them a few hundred bucks in some cases, and you have the book delivered back to you within a couple of weeks. And the experts are all around you. I mentioned on um, YouTube. You go on YouTube, you type in any topic, and there are phenomenal experts with their, own, with their own YouTube channels who are happy to help you and work with you. And then when you're done, this is my, one, of my, one of my latest products. I teamed up with a friend of mine down in Colombia, South America, who is a fitness weight loss guru. He was one of the stars of uh, P90X, if you remember that program, and uh, had this book created based on his, his methods and his uh, weight loss strategies. And then you hire one of these outsourced workers for about 50 bucks, and you have the images created, the graphics, to showcase your product and your, and your course. So here we have some images of, uh, you know, downloaded to your iPhone, to your computer, or, for your, or to your tablet. Looks pretty snazzy. And that helps you justify the cost, which again, we're not selling three dollar products here, we're selling 37 bucks and up. Um, and also just to, just to keep emphasizing how easy this can be, keeping it simple is a good thing. Videos don't need to be fancy, the ebooks don't need to be long and beautifully written. Um, a friend of mine once purchased a product about how to make a potato gut. It cost 25 bucks. The product was a couple of simple, no budget videos filmed in some guy's backyard. But it actually showed you step by step how to build a potato gun. And for 25 bucks, a lot of customers were very happy to receive this digital product and learn what they wanted to learn. That's all that matters. So, your image can look fancy, your videos, videos can be fancy, your book can look fancy, but at the end of the day, all that really matters is you are delivering helpful information. And if you're worried about competition, um, a common objection that I hear from people who want to possibly get started, they think, well, you know, Google is so full of free information, it's all up there for free. Or if somebody wants a product on weight loss, why would they want to buy my product when they can go to Amazon and buy any one of a million books for three bucks? So you wonder these things, but it's about the power of numbers, really. Because if you can just capture a tiny, tiny little fraction of a slice of one of these markets, you can make millions. Weight loss every year, probably, I don't know, a billion dollar industry. You make one little tiny fraction of a slice of that, and you're wealthy. <clears throat> and again, the mantra, set it up once, earn money, while you sleep. So, I'm not really here to pitch my products, but I, do, but I do want to mention it for those of you who may be interested. I do have a course, it's called Passive Income Breakthrough, and I offer it over at my website, agentstrider.com. Um, in this course, I teach how to do marketplace research. So before you plunge in with your idea, you'll know, realistically, your chances of success. Also, how to get your product created as quickly and cheaply as possible while delivering maximum value to your customers. Um, also, how to present your product in the most persuasive, convincing way possible. This comes down to the art of what we call copywriting. Now, on Amazon, if you have a Kindle book up there for sale for three bucks, you only have one or two paragraphs to explain your product, your book. But when you have your own website, you can craft a sales letter and use the art of copywriting, which I also teach in this course, to use words and language to persuade and convince people that your product is the solution to their problem. I also teach how to multiply the monetary value of each customer you get. 
and how to scale up your online business. So if you want to, you can go from making a little sideline income to actually making income that will totally change your lifestyle and totally free you up. So on the website, I don't want to go through all this right now. This is the hardcore sales pitch. <laughs> but um, go to pageupdestroyer.com if you are at all interested. What I always do with all of my products, including this one, is I load them full of extra bonuses to really try to cover the topic from every possible angle. I cover outsourcing as well. And I have a very in-depth uh, training video where I go inside ClickBank and explain how it all works. I would say I'm one of the few, very few people who teach this stuff who really pulls back the curtain. I mean, I literally, I literally show you my screen and walk you through step by step how all of this is done. Total volume, $4,540. I sell it for $397. <laughs> Again, not giving you the hard sales pictures. But if you are interested, please cruise over to my website. You can read more about me on there. And uh, actually, if you dig around, you will see that I offer a, a short sort of crash course for only $8. So for eight bucks, I'll give you several hours worth of video training to get you started off on the right path. So, there you have it. If you have any questions, please fire away. Question, Brody? You know everything? Yes. Okay, a couple of questions. Sure. As we know, the majority of people buy a product and they do nothing with it. And that's the story of the life. That's how it goes. Yep. Can you tell us, for maybe so many people that buy the product, how many will actually go and have really good success from your experience in the past? I know it's a, a bit of a difficult question, but that's a question. Well, I'll tell you this, um, 8%, 8% of my customers actually look at the product. <laughs> one of the top marketers, one of the top marketers in the business tells a story about how he once put out a DVD course for $400 and he launched it and he sold thousands of copies only to then realize the distribution place that made the DVDs screwed up and they were all blank. The discs were all blank. And his refund rate was no higher than normal. Which really, showed, which really says, so very few people take action. Um, my, my darling mother is one of those people who would shop over the television and our garage was full of uh, Tony Robbins DVDs and cassettes and soul flex machines and Ginsu knives and all that crap that she never got around to opening it. And she's a very smart lady, but it's, it's very typical. So I have seen some of my students become very successful. Indeed, absolutely. But the truth is, the majority of people, you know, it's all talk and no action. It's all about taking action. What I do is I lay out the action steps and I hold nothing back when I teach. So I'm giving you every possible tool and every possible resource. I tell you where to go to hire these people if you want to hire people, really anything. So I'm an open book when it comes to this stuff. Uh, just a couple of things. Uh, very interesting, I just found out recently, how many people here have ever bought a book and not read the whole book? Right? We've all done this, right? Apparently uh, buying a book and reading the whole thing has like about a 25%, right? But Talking books have a 95% completion rate. And one of the things I know that is recommended, so, well, I, I can only tell you what was told to me when I read anyway. Sorry, sir, can I? I'm not, sorry. You are, you are, you're doing the same as him, but don't rip the store. That is extremely insulting, sir. I work for this club for nothing. I do a lot of work. I book all the speakers. I do it for nothing. So I don't come to the wrong problem with me and accuse me of ripping somebody off. 
that the slander and the lie that can take you to court in this country and win. He's trying to teach us to rip everybody off. Now, why would you say that, sir? Hello, Clickbank. Sorry, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, Clickbank, I will have you know, has a mandatory 60 day refund policy. If anyone feels any of these products is any kind of scam, they send an email, not to me, but to Clickbank, their money is refunded in full instantly. So where's the scam? Tell me. There's no risk. None. <clears throat> no risk. Yes, Joe. I just, I was actually going to ask a question about sure. it. Because you didn't really explain how the affiliate program works. Because this is why ClickBank's so powerful, is because it links people with an ideas and a product with people who are just interested in marketing, as it were. Right. Yeah, um, on ClickBank, once you're listed in that marketplace, there are thousands of what are called affiliate marketers, and they make their money not by creating their own products, but by promoting products and making commissions. So you put your product on Amazon, and you just hope customers to somehow find you in that, in that massive marketplace. But on ClickBank, um, affiliate marketers will possibly pick your product up and promote it to their subscribers. Maybe they'll run ads on Facebook to promote you and they make 75% commissions on each sale they make. So that's one of the other aspects of this that make it so, so extraordinary. Yes, Jill? Rob, I've heard some Wait, mixed reviews. I've heard some mixed reviews on uh, PayPal. Do you need to deal with PayPal at all or is it all exclusively uh, to get paid? ClickBank pays you every week automatically, like clockwork. I get paid every week. And they handle all the processing for a very, very small transaction fee. So that's another beautiful thing. Thank you. Sure. About, about how much is the transaction fee? Um, it's maybe a dollar, but it's somewhat, somewhere between one and two dollars, or a very small percentage. It's, it's extremely reasonable, because you're not handling any customer support if you don't want to. You're not processing the refunds. Um, they're handling all of it for you. Any more questions? It's over here at the back. At, at the back, please. On your left, at the back. Thank you. Um, I wrote some ebooks, and then when I went to try to put them into a format that they could be ebooks, I found out it was very technically challenging, and I'd probably have to hire a computer guy to put the books into the format because it was so so many challenges to that. Do you have that problem with ClickBank? Well, to create an ebook, um, it's really simple. I write in Microsoft Word. You choose Save As, and you save it as a PDF. That's that's really it. With a Kindle book, you got to format it. You got to format it in a very specific way for the. For the no, devices. That's the problem I ran into for Kindle. And for Kindle. Um, it's, it's easy to do. I don't, I don't offer it in that format, so I don't know the exact uh, specifics. But it's, it's, um, it's not, not, not a very big deal. And if you wanted to, you could pay somebody $10 to $20 on one of these uh, freelance job sites to do it for you. Yes. Okay. And I can tell you the names of the sites if you see me afterwards. OK, thanks. Sure. Uh, my, my question is. Rob, yes, Mr. my question is uh, actually related to this. Um, Could you so stand up, please? Oh. My question is related to this. Yeah, uh, the ebooks. If you um, subcontract the work out to uh, uh, a professional writer, what is to prevent him um, poaching your work, uh, keeping your work, stealing it? Well, piracy is rampant on the internet. Um, that's just a reality. Mm. And uh, there's you know BitTorrent sites. I'm sure you're familiar with them, like Pirate Bay. All of my stuff has been pirated and bootlegged and ripped off a million ways. But the average consumer is not using those sites. It's still, those sites, the, the place where you find pirated material, it's, uh, it's still very much uh, sort of underground. It's more tech, tech people, so. Yeah, I understand the, yeah. the internet thing, I'm just- uh, The writer, surely is still with the, the personal relationship, so you've hired him for a couple hundred dollars. What is to prevent him um, stealing your, your idea? Because they're lazy. Because very few people take action, you know? Very few people are going to sit down and, after stealing my work, follow all these steps. Okay. Uh, there's a great action, by the way, about taking action. Um, 
the world will be a, a far better place um, because uh, those guys who didn't, didn't take action are, um, are now in cemeteries in the world. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I've got another question. We don't click back 60 days money back. If you're not happy in any way, you get your money dead easy. Yep. Can you tell us roughly what is the percentages? How many people asking for the money back out of so many? <clears throat> my refund rates on my scams, <laughs> which they are indeed not, a whopping 8%. So 8% of people uh, ask for refunds. And every single one of them is given their refund instantly by ClickBank. So it's a very low percentage. And when I paste my products on my websites, the refund policy is never in the fine print. It is right up front. And I state it again and again. Totally risk-free, 60-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. So I use it as a selling point rather than trying to obscure it down below. You know. Stand up, please. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, just there is a fantastic program that you might not know about. It's called Calibre. C L C A L I B R E, and it will convert Word or anything into just about anything else. It will convert it into, for instance, uh, uh, Kindle, Mobi format. It will convert it into EPUB. All those different formats and stuff. It's really worth having. Spell, spell it out again. Calibre. C A L I B R E. It's a great program. More questions? It's free too. <laughs> There's got to be one more. <clears throat> Is that it? Sure, please. Just a minute, please. Just a minute. Well, your passive income, how much action do you need to um, give to get this passive income working? Do you need to leave your job or do you need to dedicate three to five hours a day to make it work? Well, my friend Ron, the king of Shih Tzu training, was working 90 hours a week at a law firm. And at night, a couple of hours a night, he built this passive income business. So it all depends on, on, on your goals. Now, I know I've spoken a lot, um, and it triggers some red flags for some people, with all due respect. Um, when I talk about leveraging the power of experts and creating a product where you are not necessarily an authority on the topic, but when I teach, one thing, one thing I do emphasize is that if you take one of your personal interests or passions or talents, your chances of success are much greater because the topic that you are personally invested in. There are products that have a cure toenail fungus that are massive sellers, but that is not a topic anyone is passionately gonna, gonna blog about and email about, you know? But if it's one of your skills or talents, you are that much more likely to go home to your day job and invest your spare time in this, in this project. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah, over here. Yes. Um, you, you say, uh, you have to be computer savvy, sounds like. Maybe it's just too much for uh, some of these guys. Uh, I, you think Mark will be able to do it? I think so, I think so. Um, there's, no, there's no magic bullet, there's no magic switch, but I'm telling you, man, what the opportunities and resources you have today that make this easy, none of these things existed 10 years ago. Um, building a website is not the challenge it once was. And you can get involved in this for virtually no money. Yeah, it's, it, I don't think it's the money so much that, that I would be concerned with, uh, because I'm a multi-millionaire already, you know. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. And I have a big heart. I have a big heart, you know. Good. But it, it's, it's the, it's the, um, uh, it's the technical stuff and the computer stuff that I'm just not savvy about, you know, and you can teach me that or what? Well, for, for a lot of that stuff, I would direct you over to YouTube, because YouTube is the most incredible resource. There are so many videos that walk you through step by step how to turn 
a document into a PDF file, how to upload it to your website. All those little technical details are available to learn on YouTube. But if push comes to shove, as I said, you can hire somebody um, over in the Philippines for 50 bucks, or you got some money to spend, find a young, talented person over there, they speak perfect English, put them on your payroll for 300 bucks a month, 400 bucks a month. You've got a full-time worker who is at your disposal to handle any technical issues you've got. So use it. I'm no tech guru at all. Mark can do it. I have faith in Mark. Okay. Uh, just a bit of a naive question, I think. I'm not very computer oriented, very old fashioned, but what you seem to be talking about is a business and making money, income. Yep. How does it stand legally? Is there a tax element to this? Or you can just make as much money as you want and there's no declaration to tax? It's like any other business. You can set up an LLC or a corporation to, to shield yourself tax-wise. It's like any other business. Uh, and it all gets reported. Okay, that's what I want to Absolutely, talk. yeah. Okay, thanks. Sure. Any more questions, please? Yeah, I have a couple of questions. Okay. Yes, Ryan. Actually, this is not a question. I've heard Rob give this talk before, as Terry has. And uh, so I did some research into it. And what surprised me was the sort of topics that there are that are big that I never even imagined in my wildest dreams. Like how to get your ex back is like this big trough. That's yeah. one of my biggest products. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's called ex back. Like, not how to avoid your ex or kill her. You know how to get her back. And that was amazing. And, and I was contemplating doing. Because I had a stone in the kidney when I was 18, which is like, nobody gets a stone in the kidney 18. And I thought, uh, you know, I'll do a product of how to never have to get another stone in your kidney in your entire life, because it's like, women will say it's four times more painful than childbirth. And I discovered there's already a couple of products out there as how, how, how to heal your kidneys and stuff. It's really amazing what sort of people have used their life knowledge to create these sorts of products. And I have created products on health topics where I, mean, I consulted with a good friend of mine who's a medical expert, who has degrees, everything is vetted and checked out. And personally, I would never put some product out there that contained any kind of harmful or bogus information. And with my x back product, that's a really powerful pain point for a lot of people. If they're up at four in the morning, missing their ex-girlfriend, and they're Googling for, for information and my site pops up, they'll probably spend 37 bucks to learn these secrets which I obtained by speaking to relationship counselors, PhDs, people with um, tons of experience in this area. And I took notes and I interviewed them and I compiled the information into this product. And it's actually a lot of people. I get a lot more thank you emails than I do get complaints. Another one. Sure. Can you break it down to countries? Is it mostly Americans that purchase the products? The majority, yes. But they come from all around the world. Um, recently, I began having a lot of my products translated into Spanish. Spanish is an, is an emerging market, of course. But um, unfortunately, in a, lot, in a lot of these countries, developing countries, uh, credit card usage is, is very low. So with that expat product, I've had people actually visit the website, watch the video, and they want to buy it so badly, they go to Western Union and put down cash and wire money to my company to download their, their copy of the product. But this is all changing and growing, and uh, to answer your question, the sales come from all around the world, and ClickBank will process any of it. But majority Americans? Majority, yes. Probably, probably about fifty percent. I'm guessing around that range. Yeah. If there are no more questions, thank you very much. Uh, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stand there, Rob.
You're going to get, you're gonna get the prize. Get what? <laughs> you're going to get the gift of your life. <laughs> For only four ninety seven. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, everybody, I did not intend to pitch for us. I just I, I'm mentioning it. Go to my website, and all the info on me is on there because I can't answer questions out in the lobby all day. But it's all on the website, you know. So, yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. It was a lovely speech. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>